Welcome back to Life is Strange. Let's go see if we can get some information from Frank. So now we have to see Frank all the way out here. Can't see inside with this shit blocking the view. Take the trash out sometime, dude. I mean, to be fair, Frank did take the trash out. Oh, fresh meat. So Pompidou must be okay. Good doggy. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? Oh, I thank you. That wasn't so hard now, was it? And let's not do any more business again. Now, if you excuse me. Frank, could we ask you a couple quick questions? You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No. You don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? You already did. Ah, oh, you fucking mental. I lost my keys, but I changed the lock. You better goddamn not be snooping around here. No, no, I'm not. I, I... Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shits. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. What, you, you come in peace? After you aimed a fucking gun at me, and then pulled the trigger! There were no bullets in the gun. You were safe, tough guy. There is something wrong with you, girly. You pulled the trigger because you wanted to show me how safe I was? <laughs> I just... I didn't know what I was doing. Dude, get off her ass! She was protecting me! You've got a knife and God knows what else. Are you really afraid of Max here? I'm not afraid of anybody except my maker. And you little bitches think you can outsmart me? Why, because I'm trailer trash? You're Blackwell trash, and it's time to take you out. Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch? Get it? Step the fuck back now! Oh. You fucking killed my dog! Oh my god! Play something we can rewind that. Oh no! Chloe. I just shot a man. And his dog. I killed Frank Bowers. You saved my life, Chloe. It, it, it was self-defense for both of us. Rewind. Rewind. Max? Frank is really dead. I know. But we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast. Before the co cops come. That's it. 
Let's get out of here. Sorry, Frank. I'm sorry. Are they seriously not gonna let me rewind? Jesus. Chloe actually killed Frank. She'll never forgive herself. Or forget this. And only I can change it. Okay, good. Yeah, let's change it. Um, I'm trying to remember what happened in my old playthrough when I did that. I'm pretty sure I didn't have a gun at this point, I think. So we couldn't have shot anybody, right? I don't remember what happened, but that's horrible. I mean, Frank is kind of like, eh. I mean, I don't, I don't think he deserves to get shot, but I don't have exactly that much sympathy for him, but certainly not Pompadou. Uh, if we have the code, can we just leave, or...? Well, then again, Chloe will remember the code. I would have to remember it, but Chloe's the one that took it. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. <sighs> Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Um... Uh, yeah, let's get rid of that gun. You won't like this, but you need to get rid of that gun. No, Max, I don't like that at all. But I trust you. And girl, if I need that gun, you better rewind fast. Well, keeping the money wouldn't make anything better. Um, I mean, is everything going to be exactly the same except for the fact that we don't have the gun? That's just going to mean that, what, Chloe's going to get mauled? That's not really going to make things much better. Um, hmm. Oh, what did we just get past? I don't know what. It must have been something that happened before, though, or it would have let me skip it. It would not have let me skip it, rather. Uh, close the door. No weapons? No fight? No fight. Thanks for hearing me out, Frank. Look. We only want to talk, and it's not even about you. We're not here to start a fight. No, that shit would be over pretty fast. Don't fuck with me, and I won't return the favor. So what do you want? Just the names. Okay, so I said you already did before, and that did not go well. Help or else definitely won't go well. Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. But Frank. You, you come... Uh, yeah, so before I said no bullets, not a good thing, um... To be honest, Frank, you scared me. You held a knife on my friend. I didn't want to pull the trigger. I could tell by the way you held that pop gun, with both hands, like it was a magnet. Or maybe I shouldn't have brought that knife to a gunfight. I only want to shoot with my camera, I swear. Ask Chloe. Look, Frank, Max doesn't need a gun anyway. So are we cool? Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? <laughs> I can say I gave the dog a bone. Uh, that might kind of let loose the fact that we broke into his RV, though. Oh, Pompadour is so cute. The only way you know my dog's name is if you broke into my <laughs> RV. Shit. That's how he got out. You did it. Are you crazy? That's my dog. Wait, that's not what... Reverse. Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. We're only here to find Rachel. Rachel? 
Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now, especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Rachel said she gave you one of her favorite photos. That proves how much she cares. And you care. That's why you have to help. How the hell did you know about that photo? That's my favorite picture of her. I can look at it any time and she'll always be there for me. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell you two dorks can find Rachel, yeah, I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. I was wondering whether Chloe would pick that back up. That was cool Frank gave up the code to help us. Rachel must have seen something good in him. Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. From Frank? Hi Max, just want to see how the search was going. Thanks, Frank. We're getting closer. I see why Chloe digs you. Stop by later if you both want a party. And good luck. Oh yeah, party with Frank. Have a great old time with Frank. So I wonder if we have enough now. Nathan's clues, clues, David's clues, Frank's clues. I'll start with David. Gather info on a character by selecting all the correct clues. For each section, there is a specific number of clues to collect. Three for this Thanks one. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. Okay. Let's see. David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. 317 PM? In the parking lot. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. Don't know if that matters. I mean, that's just Chloe's truck, right? Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. Tim talking about Kate and Dana, Vortex Club party, drugs. Does David know what's going on with Rachel, or is he just paranoid about everybody? Rachel's good in class all week. Frank, Frank and Rachel meet once again. Rachel avoids her dormitory. Followed Rachel to Lighthouse. Rachel avoids her dormitory. Followed Rachel to Lighthouse. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. 
She should have been upset. I was surprised to, see, to get an unscheduled visit from Rachel Amber. She seemed quite upset and claimed that David Madsen was following her and taking photographs. David would deny this, and given the questionable company Rachel has been keeping, I'm not certain I can believe her right now. It's gotta be Rachel, right? It must be focusing on Rachel. Like the, the clues I'm supposed to put together. It's either that or Nathan. And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. So I did it? I guess? That was odd though, one of the things I had to select. It was all Nathan by the way, the red truck which I think is Nathan's. And the picture of Nathan. And then also the uh, GPS coordinates. But the GPS coordinates were, at least the page we saw, it looks like it might be multiple pages of coordinates, but the one that was on the top was coordinates for Chloe's truck, so I, I thought it wasn't relevant. But I guess there's actually a stack of coordinates for all sorts of different things? That's a little bit strange. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? Oh, right. Need a password for it. So busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Disciplinary warning report. We regret to inform you that Nathan Prescott has disrupted various classes over the past month, despite repeated warnings and leniency. Due to a crude outburst in Mrs. Hoyda's intro to literature class on Tuesday, September 20th, Nathan was sent back to his dormitory for the day, without a proper write-up for his files. Nathan has enormous potential, but also erratic behavior patterns that may need supervision beyond Blackwell's ability. The school cannot tolerate these disruptions, so we hope you'll discuss this matter with Nathan to impress upon him the severity of the situation. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. Hmm. 9535 is circled. got to be important. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? <sighs> There's a lot of numbers in here. GPA 3.7. <laughs> Look at Nathan's image on the top left. You can just see those like sunken creepy eyes. If there is a dark room... We better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. Rachel in the dark room, Rachel in the dark room. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. So we need four clues here? Oh, there has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. So wait, if I'm just trying to unlock the phone, why do I need to select four things? What if I just select two? Nothing? Okay, well that's got some numbers. This has some numbers. Um. Hmm. Student file? Okay, Max. Let's blow this code up and go home. Max, I know we can snap all these pieces together. Roger that. I'm gonna study the board and try to connect all these dots. So I guess, yeah, that's just like the first stage that we're getting through. So this is Frank's clues. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Yes. Whoops. Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. So we just need to select two then. So we need whatever is going to help us unlock the encryption. Oops. Keep selecting instead There's of looking. No doubt she loved him in some way. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. 
Oh, yeah. Translation of human to dog names. <laughs> well, it's got to be that then. So, what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Nathan. Get ready to fucking die, bitches. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't take that seriously. It's written so terribly. I'm so glad you're working with me on this. Fuck you, Nathan. Let's start hacking. Actually, let's save that for last. Let's do David's clues first. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? I mean, there's so many of the red truck. It's got to be the red truck, right? That's definitely Chloe's car. Yeah. Wow, sir. This looks like an expensive machine. Nathan would drive an expensive car, wouldn't he? Hmm. Who does this car belong to? Broken tail light. Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? No, broken tail light. They have different license plates. Different license plates and broken tail light versus not broken tail light. What's up with that? Of course, Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. Okay, so this one is Nathan's, and I guess this one is just a very, very, very similar looking truck, but it's not the same. So we need three clues, so we're going to cross-reference this with whichever one is the license plate in the tracking. Six feet under. Whoops. Crap. Six feet under. Yep, another car David was... <sighs> Who else was David tracking here? There we go, this one. That one, that one, and... And this? Oh yes, now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. That'll be the farm, right? See if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Okay, Max. Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. <laughs> Bobtail is for Miss Fancy Car. That's their name, apparently. So where's Nathan? Nathan is rot. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. I see rot in there. 9 slash 30 for 65 bucks. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. <laughs> that explains a lot. Don't see it there. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? Not there either. Hmm. Huh. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. Very, very expensive, too. The first one up there, $900, and then the bottom one, 250 I'm getting a contact high just reading this. I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. <laughs> Okay, so we need three clues, huh? Obviously the paper plus one of these. I guess just both of the ones with Rottweiler on it? Oh, no. I actually, I can't select that. I can only select these, so three of these. Oh, yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Okay, we're getting there. We're close. OK, 
Okay, so we need to enter the actual number. There we go, 0829. Their date of birth, August 29th. What up, need the G. Okay, cool. Bitch, you sold me water, asshole. Calm down, bring it to me. Bringing it. Stay away, pigs on the beach. Yeah, so talking with Frank. Yes. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. You home? Got a party tonight. Home. On the way, load the bowl. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Need to score ASAP. I don't make house calls. You have a car. No time. Charge me double. Damn right. Have cash on you. No fucking around. Give me the address. I'll call to give you the exact directions. In transit. Get that money out. Drug dealer drama. You up, bro? No shit. What you need? Peruvian flake, skidoo acid. You're paying night prices. Don't make me wait. Sorry for being a dick. Need more stuff, you home? Yes, don't come. Fuck off. <laughs> God, Nathan. You're out of control. Hey, need weed, etc. now. Calm yourself. You tweaking? Soon. Hook a brother up, please. Meet Beach. Be cool this time. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. Ah, it's the message we got from the anonymous number. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Please don't contact me at work. I've told you this before and being high is not an excuse anymore. This is a business, not just a hobby. You want me to treat you like an adult who can get things done on his own? Impress me. I'd like nothing more than to be proud of you. I'm not there yet. Okay, final phase. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Okay. Uh, what are all these little papers? Ah, the drug deals. Okay. So... If we're trying to find out where they are, we're definitely going to need coordinates. No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So, he could be hiding clues there too. Is the farmhouse? Here's the farmhouse, right? Not much out there. Yeah, so we know that that's one of them. Absolutely. Look at the times and dates. 9.30, 10.3, 10.4. 9.30, 10, 3, 10, 4. There's 10.4. I'll just mark that for now. Oh, it doesn't... It makes it so you can't look at any of the others. There's also 9.30. 9.30, 10 p.m. 9.30, 10 p.m. That would be just after... They were recorded going there. I don't know if that's if that matters. That's not the right date. Not the right date. Ten four. Yeah, that's the right date. Ten four. Ten four. Ten fifty six p.m. This was what? Eleven p.m. Like pretty much the same time, but just slightly after. Hmm. What about the 10-4 one? So 10-4, like 5 p.m., 6 p.m., 10-4. So that'd be long before, on the same day, but well before. I'm guessing it's that one. So let's go with that. So this infamous party was the fourth. Ah. 8 p.m. Yeah, so I think I'm going with the right date. The 4th, long before 8 p.m. Recorded going there long after 8 p.m., almost 11 p.m. Okay, so I think we got the right ones there. Uh, so we're looking for 10-4. Or 
There we go. Yeah, I got a party tonight. So that's probably the one. Let's check the others, though. That's also 10-4. Oh, and that's almost around 11 p.m. I need to score ASAP. Hmm. I wonder if maybe Rachel was killed that night and Nathan saw it, and that's why they said, hey, I need to score ASAP. Like, trying to deal with it, just want to blaze themselves into oblivion with all sorts of drugs. Let's go with that one. Max, there's no logical link between those clues. Yeah, so this top one and the bottom one are the same, but I think I need the piece of paper that is for around the same time, around like 11 p.m. Instead of the one earlier in the day. There we go. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Okay, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to go to the dark place.